Welcome to our tutorial on the sectioning tool. Let's begin by activating the sectioning tool. It's the second tool on the space analysis toolbar. Okay, and let's press to activate it. Next, let's select window, tile vertically. We can also move the section plane and rotate it using these handles. The second button here allows us to do a volume cut. We've got a couple more choices here too. Section slide and section box. We can resize the section box or the section plane. Now let's go review the positioning tab. Right here we can enter numerical values for the positioning. The next option is geometrical target. When I mouse over, it gives me the plane. If I click it, the section plane repositions. Let's resize a little bit. Now we've got a section plane parallel to this face. We can still rotate it. Notice that we don't have anything in the section 1 window though. Let's click Fit All In, and our view returns. The next icon allows us to position by two or three segments. I'll select this line, this line. Our plane repositions to go through both of these lines. The next option is Invert Normal. See what happens? The direction changes, and the home position resets. Let's go back to our original start position. At this point, let's click OK. Let's activate the sectioning tool again. Window, tile vertically. Here is my second section. Let's click OK. Let's activate the sectioning tool again. Window, tile vertically. Once again, we position the plate in the desired position and click OK. Now let's enlarge this window. The section feature appears in the specification tree under Applications. Let's expand it. We see sections 1, 2, and 3. They're now visible. You can see them better when I mouse over the features in the specification tree. And this concludes our tutorial on the sectioning tool.